the kind of systems that are in place, given the trees that produce the oxygen and the animals that breathe it in, it's all one. And I feel like we are allowed as humans to be a part of that system. And there are ways that we can connect and disconnect from there. No, Even if you're in a beautiful place visually, I feel like the other senses, smell, touch, all brings you a, a different kind of connection for sure. Um, and also a feeling, it's not, not one of our senses, our five senses, it's like a spiritual connection. When I was first thinking about being a scientist, I was just doing it for the degree, and I kind of like science, so I was just gonna do the degree and then pursue something right after. And now that I've learned of this full different way of thinking, like you're trying to solve this problem in your natural world to help this natural world, and not necessarily selfishly trying to ask what will benefit me, but trying to tie in all the systems, trying to incorporate cultural knowledge with what you're looking at and how that can help your community compared to just singling out this one point that you're trying to find out what it is. And so that gives me hope for the future to be able to look at my, my passion and, and really grow into it and with it and be able to understand and help other people through research, through outreach, everything. I'm Mario Kaluhio Kalani. I'm from Kailua, Oahu. And this summer, I was a pipes intern looking at both aquaculture techniques in the native Hawaiian fish ponds and coral health surveys in the field. 